just gonna make a new character right now. I'll delete that first guy because I don't even remember what I was doing with him. Now to anyone watching right now and you're wondering what's the point of this video, the point of this video is basically going to be for a few reasons. The main reason will be like an immediate guide, beginner to immediate guide for anyone that wants to play this game. Because Demon Souls is just, you know, like the best game ever and everyone should play it. And that's, you know, simply for it will make your life a better thing. And I feel a lot of people, they play Demon Souls and they don't really like it because they don't really know what they're supposed to be doing. You know, they they get into the game and they're you know, you're confused and you're not really sure where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do, and you don't get to that part where it's just really, really awesome. And that will be the point of this game, this uh, little playthrough right here. Just doing the most basic thing, Royal is probably the easiest class to start out with. Very beginner friendly, you start with a spell that just pretty much kills everything you encounter for a while. And I'm going to skip the cutscene because... Um, you know, you can watch it when you play, and because the story is good, I actually really like the story of Demon Souls. It doesn't spoon feed you. There's a lot of, you know, mystery to it. But for now, this is just gameplay purposes. I'm not gonna say too much about gameplay during the tutorial since it is very easy. I will probably only mention how to beat the boss of the tutorial since a lot of new players probably won't beat the boss. He's he's basically supposed to kill you if it's your first time playing the game, but I'll show you how to make him not nearly as hard as he appears. These first few enemies, nothing to worry about. I'm not even really sure what type of character I'll make at this point. We'll see. It's not a big concern. I'm mostly going to just show you how the game is not nearly as hard as it appears. I'll show you where to get the good items early on, how to exploit them the best you can, some easy strategies that will make some enemies a lot easier than they look at first. Like here I'm basically just, oh that was pretty bad, just basically abusing my shield that these enemies can't really do anything about. Simple stuff like that. Like I'll admit when I first played the game, Red-Eyed Knight in the, beginning, the first level, you know, he killed me. I was like, whoa, you know, and it, you know I tried, you know, I died to him like a dozen times. But we'll encounter that later. Let's see, just gonna... I probably won't even bother fighting these guys out here. There's really no point. They give very little souls. They don't drop anything. And once you use the arch stone here, it'll give you all your health back. So you can just pretty much skip them entirely. There's really no reason to kill them. Oh, another reason I'm making the two, maybe for a little personal challenge of my own, I don't know if they'll end up happening, but I'll try to get through here without dying at all. I am, I'm pretty sure I'm actually online right now, so that could present problems later. I get invaded and destroyed by somebody, but we'll see what happens. That could be fun. Now, that, this is a very simple thing I'm doing. It will pretty much allow you to beat pretty much all the enemies of World 1 is. You simply lock onto them, get close, and rotate with your shield. That's pretty much... If you, as long as you have a decent shield, you'll be fine to block it, get the easy backstab, and then kill them. It's very simple, and that strategy alone can pretty much beat all of World 1's enemies. Like, no lie. Like, like and it's not hard to do. It's pretty simple. Oh, this is the guy that, like, never attacks, so he's very annoying. So I'll just spam R2 and see what that does, although the Royal probably not the best character to do that. And you will hit me. Interrupt him. Just keep doing that. So annoying enemy. There we go. It's like it's fighting someone online. No, no, I kid. I kid. So we'll continue. Get to the Vanguard boss. In killing Vanguard, it can be pretty helpful if you're new to the game and you know you just want to get some extra items and stuff before you get to the actual game. You get some more healing items, more souls, so it's always good to do that if you can. There's really no reason not to if you're capable. So we'll just continue on. Just abusing the shield since he can't really do much about it. Like, 
it's really, shields make single players so much easier. Like, online players, you know, they'll be smarter about it. They're not just going to, you know, attack your shield and waste their stamina and then get counterattacked. They'll be smarter about it. They'll go for a backstab or post it when you attack, stuff like that. But, again, single, you know, in single player, you can abuse your shield all day. Enemies will fall for it constantly. So, why not, right? Okay, now we'll actually get to something that might, you know, where I might possibly die. But maybe we'll see. So, it's always a good idea to heal before you fight him. And I am going to only have Half Moon Grass equipped while I fight him because if he hits me, it'll do a lot of damage and I'll want to be able to heal that quickly. And I'm going to get my Soul Arrow ready. So I put out my Catalyst. And the smart thing to do is run straight at him. It seems like, oh, I want to go left and right. That will just take more time to get to him and you want to get stay behind him. That's the key. And make him do that attack. Because while he does that, you get three hits. But the key, the thing that will make this the easiest, is staying behind him. And the best way to do that is to unlock on. You don't want to be locked on when you're running around him. Because then you can have more direct movement to just get behind him and abuse his bad AI. So right now I'm just going to not lock on and just run. It makes that nice and simple. And you get close to him so he'll do that attack, back away, get like three soul arrows in, get your lock on off, and repeat. It's pretty simple, really. A roll, rolling is good. Whenever there's time where you might get hit, just roll. You're gonna wanna get behind him again. Spam soul arrow. With other characters, this will take a lot longer because most characters starting attacks. And yes, when he does this, just be patient. Just be patient. And yeah, hope that doesn't happen, although it doesn't hurt that much. Just wait for him to attack. But yeah, other starting characters, this will take a lot longer because they won't have Soul Arrow, won't be able to do as much damage. They'll have to use more stamina attacking him, meaning they can't just run around after so easily. But thanks to Soul Arrow, it makes this a lot easier. Okay, I'll just continue blasting him. And here I'm going to just stab him a few times. There we go. See, it's not, it's not hard. Not difficult. I remember the first time I in encountered him, I think I just walked in front of him, you know, and he killed me, and I was like, what the hell? What? What? He's very confused. And now we will get killed by Dragon God, for there is no way to escape his awesomeness. But we will get a lot of nice goodies here, nice items. A terrifying man, only defeated by puzzle mechanics. I will say that was probably the only one of my only real disappointments about this game was in fact here and yeah, because there's so much build up to him and then you finally fight him and you're like, really? It's just you don't really fight him per se. So that was kind of a letdown, but I will let it go for this game is truly awesome. And, you know, no game's perfect, so let's we'll excuse that. And there is no no escape of the Falcon Punch. It must happen. And I like to see this, it's always entertaining. Face slide, like 60 yards, it's always good. You died, it's like, you must die. This is Demon Souls, there is no escape. I didn't even notice, I just realized you could access your inventory there while being dead. It's always good. I'm sorry ahead of time if the quality looked bad, it's on a camera, but that allows me to speak if you want to hear me speak. If I can mute this, that's always good. So I'm uh, sorry in advance if the quality isn't the best. And now we will do World 1-1 as we have no other choice but to do it. 